Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft rolled out their January Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as I posted last week, for Windows 10, they included the now infamous security update, KB5034441, with and part of the Patch Tuesday updates that rolled out for Windows 10 last week. Now, as I have mentioned uh, in two videos I posted last week, which will be down below, because it'll just give you a whole lot more information if you'd like to play catch up regarding this update. Um, Microsoft released KB5034441 to address a security vulnerability that could allow attackers to bypass BitLock encryption by using the Windows Recovery Environment, WinRE for short. Now, as um, mentioned, and as many of you will know by now, this update for the majority of users is failing to install. And that's because some co computers might not have a recovery partition that is large enough to complete this update. Now, just to let you know, I may have good news, and that's because Microsoft now, over on their Known Issues Health Dashboard page regarding this issue, has now confirmed this update failing to install as an official known issue. And the reason I say that's good news um, is because now it means that Microsoft now are officially working on a resolution, um, which they will hopefully roll out sooner than later to address this issue. Now, just a quick recap. If we head to our disk partitions, disk management menu and legacy menu in Windows 10 by just uh, searching for disk partitions. Um, here we get our disk management dialog. And this is where we can see all the different partitions that our storage and our drives have been um, obviously divided up into. And by the way, this page can take a good couple of seconds to load. Now this is where the issue is lying. Just as a quick recap, here's your recovery partition. You can see mine's um, quite extreme. Uh, it's just over 20 gigabytes. Now what Microsoft says about this recovery partition, the workaround they gave, which I posted on last week, it, may, it might be necessary, Microsoft says, to increase the size of the WinRE, Windows Recovery Partition, in order to avoid this issue and complete the installation. They carry on to say, note that 250 megabytes of free space is required in the recovery partition. And then they give you a, a guidance on how to increase the size, the instructions to manually resize or petition to install the WinRE update. And that will be down below on one of the videos um, that I posted last week. And as mentioned, both those videos will be in the description. Now, what I did suggest last week was that although Microsoft says that this needs to be 250 megabytes, that is still too small for the update. So I would make this at least one gigabyte and then um, there's a good chance that the update will then install. Now, that's obviously if you have the know-how to increase the size of your recovery partition. And as I've mentioned, if you don't, if you don't have the technical know-how, then just rather ignore the update and don't try and rec um, increase or decrease sizes of partitions because you can wreck your system. And as I mentioned last week in one of the videos I posted, with this update, just ignore it because as mentioned, Microsoft... Um, could p possibly just roll out a fix which they are now in the process of working on and Microsoft says the next steps for this issue we are working on a resolution and will provide an update in an up and coming release so obviously we are expecting our bug fix updates to roll out for Windows 10 and Windows 11 I would suggest starting next week uh, Tuesday the 23rd so hopefully um, the fix for this issue with KB5034441 failing to install because that recovery partition is too small um, um, will roll out as part of that um, bug fix update. And just on a side note, the error that a lot of users are seeing is this error, 0x8007064 error install failure. So if you have been seeing that, as mentioned, a fix is on the way. And obviously, as soon as that fix rolls out, I'll post and keep you guys updated. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.